Let's talk about four actionable steps that we can use to build ethnically diverse relationships. So first, examine your circle. Mm -hmm. Second, be intentional. Third, get uncomfortable. And fourth, do the work. Mm -hmm. So in, exam in examining your circle, I believe that everyone should first look at their personal everyday circles and ask themselves, is it diverse? I mean, does my sphere of influence reflect multiple ethnic groups um, of any culture, uh, di different backgrounds? And, and if it doesn't, mm -hmm. why not? That's right. Exactly. Why not? You know, Psychology Today in 2016 reported that three out of four white Americans had no non-white friends. Mm -hmm. Zero. Three out of four. Wow. Um, why is that? The article refers to our patterns, you know, our daily routines. Do mm -hmm. we do the same thing every day? Do we talk to the same people every day? Um, do we find ourselves in the same all white spaces or all black spaces for that matter every day? What if, what would it look like if we broke out of those spaces and intentionally talked to people who were different than us? Right. Um, you know, I think that's where the deep richness of life comes from. That's where we see the beauty of God's creation. I think about my own life. It was kind of boring I think mm -hmm. before I started to break out of my shell a little bit and fill it with people who are a lot different than I am yeah yeah so I'd say building off our first step be intentional mm -hmm. in my opinion intentionality is where I mean we have to start it's not just going to happen by itself right we have to start with yeah. intentionality start to learn about other cultures and people. So you're less likely to accept the narrative that you may hear on a news outlet or social media, or even your neighbor possibly. Yeah. And we see that a lot um, in today's age, you know, everyone has an answer for something. So as you know, I recently um, started attending a Be the Bridge uh, reconciliation group here in Louisville. And it's yep. based on Latasha Morrison's book, be the Bridge, <clears throat> by the same title, of course. And in our very first session, the discussion uh, on bridging truth and racial reconciliation had to do with awareness. Hmm. And so I would say that awareness looks a lot like intentionality, right? Yeah, it does. Well, you know, we have to be intentional to know what's around us we have to be intentional to pay attention right it all sounds kind of redundant but it's so true and it's yeah. hard to keep that in the forefront of our minds every especially in today's culture we're busy and we're mm -hmm. juggling a thousand different things and um it seems like just one more thing but um it's worth it it's worth it to branch out it's worth it to get uncomfortable a little bit um and I would say there's a couple of things we need to remember in this process. We need to remember that we need to be intentional about learning about cultural history, racial history. We need to watch shows with um, lead characters or protagonists that look different than us, right? Um, mm -hmm. We need to maybe try different foods from di different ethnic groups or listen to different music. And yeah. this one might be the hardest go to a different church yeah every now and then yeah. just just to see just yeah. to see um we just need to be willing to uh, put ourselves in positions that allow us to get to know people who are different yeah. than us right absolutely and uncomfortable was the key word there right <laughs> it's uncomfortable to do something different yeah yeah it is we as humans, we like our comforts. We like mm -hmm. our, you know, our lazy boy recliners, <laughs> so to speak. We, we like the familiar familiarity. We, you know, it's less threatening That's to right. us. No, right? Absolutely. But doing this is is worth it. Building yeah. friendships and relationships is worth it. Yeah. So absolutely. Get uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah.